Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack. Kraken Addiction Shadows over in Estrad is our next box as we go through some of these old Pioneer sets or sets that are now Pioneer legal since the introduction of the new format. And you know how to support us. Thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, share it, all that good stuff. Really just check the link. And if you're shopping at TCG Player, click the link in the description. We need that help. Let's start opening packs. It's another one of those really early mornings. So good morning. Unless you're watching this later, then okay. Fevered. Visions. I've actually seen this do some serious work in a commander game. And that's right, with every pack, we get a flip card. So the Skin Shredder is our flip in that one. Handful of good cards in here. And cards that honestly just keep going up. And then now that we know that every Monday through the rest of the year is a new band card or the possibility of a new band card. We're probably going to see some of these cards climb up as other overpowered cards get banned. Falcon Wrath Gorger. And we got the heir of the Falcon Wrath. She's actually pretty solid. At least very fast for what she does. She's an efficient card. But I'm trying to think some of the bigger ones from this set. I mean, Gitrog is always nice. He's in here. The game trail, that's right, there is a rare land cycle in this one, too. And we got the Solitary Hunter. I think we got, what, Avacyn is in this. That's a solid one. You know, the Arlen Cord Planeswalker is in this, the Flip Planeswalker. Deathcap Cultivator. Wonder if this sees play. Probably not for now with Deathrite Shaman. There'd be no reason to play it, but if for some reason that card gets banned, which always feels like that's what they want to do, even though it's not as powerful now without the fetches. Asylum Visitor. I wish I could find a way to make madness successful in Pioneer. <clears throat> What's the top card in the set? Is it Tireless Tracker? Is that the best card in the set? That might have changed a bit now with Pioneer. I, haven't, I guess I haven't looked. The Bygone Bishop. Hinterland Logger and a Foil Dauntless Cather. I'm trying to think if there is anything else. I don't think the Mythics are super crazy in this one. No Liliana. That was Eldritch Moon. Traverse the Ulvenwald. There's a good one. This is one that's probably going to climb a bit. Very, very good. Unless uh, the card, what was it called? Once Upon a Time. Unless that just replaces it. Maybe that does. No. I mean, that's like a pure tutor. Probably better if you're playing off of it. Hey, the Gitrog monster. We'll take it. Our first mythic is probably the best one in the set. So we'll make some room for our mythics. Uninvited Geist and the Gastroth Art Artisans. Arsonists, sorry. I do like the, the foiling of the double-sided cards. They look good. Hopefully we can find a... Tireless tracker here. Leave a comment in the description. Oh, Fever Visions again. That's it's giving me Fever Visions. Two of those already? Leave a comment though. I'm curious for Pioneer. What are you building? Or are you out? Are you sitting this one out? Is it is it stupid? Do you hate it? I'd love to understand why, but I'm curious what other people are gonna try to run. And let's just assume Oko is banned. Slayer's Plate. 
and the Thraben Gargoyle. Oh, and a Mythic Flip, Startled Awake. Forgot about this one. Flips into the Persistent Nightmare. We'll keep the Nightmare face up. Oh, well, that's an added bonus. I don't think that takes up a Mythic slot in the box either, so it's always good. From Under the Floorboards, another really strong Madness card. Spewing out zombies. Oh, we got a Ember-Eyed Wolf Foil. See if we can uh, break that eight or nine mythic hit like the Oath of the Gatewatch box. That was crazy. Always watching. That's creepy. And the Aberrant Researcher. It's like a fake version of that card that I can't ever name from original Innistrad. I think I would have looked it up in between now and then, but I didn't. Another mythic, Jeroff's Masterpiece, the super monster zombie. And we got the Lamholt Pacifist. And a foil Forsaken Sanctuary. Well, we're at three mythics and we're maybe a third of the way through the box, so we're, we're on pace to hit eight. Nine if you count the ex expedition. Welcome to the fold. Another madness card. Was anybody else disappointed that the madness deck wasn't like Temer or at least finding a way to fit blue or green in there instead of just Rakdos? Just because they were part of the original madness run. Prized Amalgam. Interlin Lager, and a foil mythic. Descend upon the sinful. Nice. We get a foil mythic. Exile all creatures. Wow. Well, again, we're pacing really well for a lot of mythics, which feels really good. An exorable blob. Look at that blob. Let's see if we can speed things up here. Invocation of Saint Traff, man. Too bad the Geist wasn't in this one. That Geist is good. Four Mythics, one Foil Mythic, so that means we got a case hit off of this box, which is, that is always a treat. Confirm Suspicions, look at that vampire face. Oop, Forgotten Creation. This is actually a really good card. I feel like to wheel over and over again. Scarecrow that transforms. Good equipment. A big horror turtle. Anguished Unmaking. There's another good card. Nice little instant speed exile card. Need those. Oop. And a, and a rare flip. The Geyer Reach Bandit, which turns into the Vilden Pack Alpha. Two rares, one pack. Always fun. This feels like this is shaping up to be pretty good. Odric Luminarch Marshall. That's another good one. It's still played in humans, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, for... Uh, uh, modern. I guess humans could be a pretty strong thing for um, for Pioneer too, actually. Another Falcon Rat Gorger. A lot of duplications. It might not be that weird, though. I think this is like how blocks used to run. Is this the one with the smaller card count? Oh, 
No, it definitely doesn't. 297, that's a huge card count. We should not be seeing Mythics like we're seeing. That's the second one already. Seasons Past, another really good Mythic. That's our fifth Mythic of this box. Not bad. Let's just keep that going, close out with some monster-sized Mythic. Although I'd have to, I don't even know what the next best one is. I'd have to see it to believe it. To the slaughter. Dustwatch Recruiter is actually a pretty good guard. Nice little uncommon. Still reminds me that I just really want a werewolf commander. Another Traverse the Ubenwald. Well, if we're going to get a duplicate, I'll take this one. That one's a pretty strong card that's going to see an uptick in its value. As I'm sure Delirium decks will be a thing. So that or some sort of graveyard mechanic will certainly see it. Ooh, skip right over and gulf the shore. It's an interesting one. I think I have that one in my Arcades deck because it essentially pops everybody else's creatures back, but not mine. Brain in the jar. There's brain in the jar. Look at that brain. It's in the jar. There's brain in the jar. The neglected heirloom and a foil ghoul caller's accomplice. Got a lot of foil ones of those from the Ultimate Masters that were reprinted, right? I think so. Death Cap Cultivator. There's that more of that duplication. Set with 297 cards. That seems crazy. It's got to be the fourth duplicate rare. Let's, let's give me a duplicate mythic. I, I would take another Gitrog monster. Drown Yard Temple. Ooh, thing in the ice. There's another. I forgot about this one. This is actually one of the better rares. Thing in the Ice, which I think I've seen played in Pioneer. I thought I saw it on a 5-0 list for success of the deck, which is interesting. Harness the Storm. Another Thraben Gargoyle and a Foil Lightning Axe. All right, six packs left. We're on that bottom part of the box. This is where usually the best cards will sit. Devil's Playground. There was a time where that was playing. This was this was absolutely a limited bomb. That thing was crazy good and really annoying to deal with in drafts. The Uvenwald Hydra, another mythic. That puts us at six, so we are above the expected numbers, which is awesome. Can we get a couple more? Can we push another eight mythic box? Does that happen more with these older sets? Silver for Partisan. Landhold Pacifist. Three packs left. I would even take, I know it's not worth the time, but I would take the Jace from this. He's, he's good in Commander. Or the Arlen Cord would be pretty nice. Another Drown Yard Temple. It's fifth duplicate. Soren, that's another good one too. I think Soren is just all around good. Bygone Bishop. We gotten this one too already? Oh, we haven't even gotten a tireless tracker yet. Ooh, the Sage of Ancient Lore. This is one of my favorite werewolves for Commander because when he flips, he usually is just a gigantic Vigilance Trample werewolf. All right, last pack. Let me get the tireless tracker because I still think that's probably the most valuable one. I mean, I would take another Mythic just for fun, but I would rather have the Tireless Tracker. But nope, we'll get a third Fevered Visions. Has anybody ever seen that? 
three of the same without foil in one box. Yikes. Hey, and a foil island. Well, thank you so much for another deep dive into Pioneer. The next box I'm going to be opening, I think, is Return to Ravnica. So we'll go with where Pioneer begins. And then I do have some wonderful Origins boxes on the way. But until next time, this is Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your week.